Keep moving, keep moving. Beautiful. Frank Gagliano, track coach, New Jersey, New York track club. Don't do this. I don't even have a number how many four minute milers I have. I know one number, 14 Olympians. I had to convince people that we're gonna have something special here. You don't have to go to the West Coast in order to be a good athlete in track and field. That's the way to work in there, beautiful. Played football at the University of Richmond, signed a pro contract with the Hamilton Tiger Cats, got cut from Hamilton, went with the London Lords, played about eight or nine games there, and decided to come back in November of 1960 and had an opportunity to go to Roselle Catholic High School with the promise of coaching football starting in 1961. Well, 1961 rolled out around and we didn't have football and they asked me to take over track and field and start a cross country team. 55 years later, I'm sitting here being interviewed as a track coach. 25. But I wasn't afraid or frightened of calling coaches up, reading books and so forth and learning how to coach and learning how to coach strength and learning how to coach speed. And all through my career, I'm still learning. But you gotta be aware mentally what you're doing with these athletes and how they feel and you talk to them. Two minutes and two and a half and then you take eight minutes, all right? My name's Ashley Higginson. This is my second Olympic trials under GAGS. So many people have probably asked how a 79-year-old ex-football player, quarterback who played in the CFL can coach female distance runners. I really credit him for being able to recognize that female distance runners don't want to be coached like female distance runners. They just want to be coached. Hey. Keep your flats on. So willing to be blunt. I don't care, whatever you want. My name's Don Cabral. I've been with Coach Gagliano for two and a half years now, almost three. And under him, I made the World Championship team in Beijing last year. His coaching style is very much about the athlete. Good job, Emily. He doesn't have an ego and he's not set in his ways and somehow about the way he treats us makes the athlete realize that it's not that we have this, this phenomenal coach that makes us run well, it's that we have this phenomenal potential inside us and he's just the guy who's going to help us get it. Let's go gang, let's go! My name is John Troutman. I'm 47 years old. I've known Coach Gagliano for over 30 years. He recruited me to Georgetown and I've known him ever since. I ran as an Olympian in 1992 under Coach Gagliano. 30 odd years later, we're still together. Gonzo, tell me your best times, baby. 338? You only see the wrath of Gags. And then you fell in love. Look, look at what happened to you. <laughs> After a while, you understand that it's not because he's upset. He's just such a fierce competitor, and he wants the best for you. Drink a lot of fluids. And then you want to do it for yourself. Not really out of fear, but really you want to make him happy and be the best competitor you can be because you know how bad Gags wants it for you. Sometimes you have to kick them in the butt, but most of the time you have to put your arms around their shoulders and encourage them. I care that they don't sit in their room for a whole year at the Olympic year and think about the Olympic trials. I care that they go to law school. I care that they get a job and also run. I care about them loving their family. And it's important that they know that they have us, if they need us, about anything in life besides track. That's why we've been successful over the years. All the way up! The first time I met Coach Gags, he just came in and nuzzled in and gave me a big hug. It was clear from the first moment that he was going to be opening up to me. Immediately, I was part of the team and I was part of his life. I'm just so lucky to have had Gag as a coach far more for what he's done for me off the track as a human being and as a person than as an athlete or anything like that. What he wants is just to see you do the very best you can to be the best competitor you can be. 18, 16, 14. If you come up and you run short, you don't make your goal, that's fine as long as you get out there and give it 100% and really compete. 59 flat, beautiful. Take your time now. The mind and the heart together are very powerful and it's so important that they have the drive to do it. They'll succeed in life with that drive that they learn from the sport of track and field. This is my last time that I'll be going to the Olympic trials, but this club is definitely staying as long as I live.